everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with a new sort of video. We haven't done these before, and I would love to hear your thoughts. So, this week we're talking swimwear sewing patterns. Now, I know a lot of you haven't sewn swimwear before or are thinking about it. Um, it's obviously the summer, British summer at the moment, um, and it's a really nice challenge to take on. So I have picked our sort of top 10 sewing patterns, swimwear patterns for you guys to have a look at and see what you think. Um, so let me know if you like these sort of videos and I can definitely do a bit more. I've never sort of done top 10 ones before, but I thought maybe it'd be quite nice to try. So I'm going to get cracking. The first pattern I've got to talk to you about is a Cottesloe swimsuit and bikini from Megan Nielsen. This comes in sizes six to 20. I absolutely adore this and I know that you guys too, too. It's been a really popular one within the sewing community. Lots of people have made this and enjoyed it. So, what is great about this pattern? The, well, the first thing is that you get two for the price of one. There's a swimsuit and a bikini. Um, there are variations within each. So, the swimsuit, you can either make it completely plain or you can have it with this lovely tie detail at the back. Um, the bikini are, um, actually the bikini, the, the variation of these are in the pants, so the bikinis have a slightly, um, the two options of the pants are slightly kind of higher waisted, if you wanted something a bit more, you know, to cover up a bit more. I love these because I prefer, per and this is completely personal, I prefer quite simple shapes and I think this one is really great option. Loads of you guys have made it as well and absolutely loved it. So. I would highly recommend checking this one out. I think probably this one's my favourite. Um, I know we shouldn't have favourites, but this is a really, really good one. So definitely have a check out of this one. So up next, we have got, um, a, it's the Ver Vernaza Pat Two Piece Bikini from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes six to 20. Actually, sorry, so it comes, We've got two variations of this on the site, just to be clear. We've got a paper pattern and a PDF pattern. The paper pattern comes in sizes 6 to 20, and the PDF pattern comes in sizes 6 to 28. We also have copy shop printing if you can't be asked to print it out yourself. I adore this. I think it's a really nice one. Again, this falls into the slightly more simple in terms of the cut lines on this. Um, it's got this lovely tie detail at the front, but the thing that really is, not, is nice about that tie detail is you can see that there's actually a band that goes underneath the bust as well. So it, you have got that support with this tie front because a lot of bikinis that have a tie front don't have enough support and any of us who have slightly bigger bosoms, um, myself included, you, you need the support, especially if you're in the sea and you know waves and you know, I'm sure you have all been there with, you know, bikinis around your neck. I definitely have in the waves. Um, this one is a really lovely shape. I really like the leg cut on this as well. It's quite low. It's not really high cut, which I know is not particularly trendy at the moment because the, that high cut is really on trend, but I love the shape of that. It kind of has a slight vintage feel. So this is a really great option. I've actually got another one a bit later on for Friday Pattern Company because they do really fantastic swimwear. So next up, we've got the Pilates swimsuit from Opium. This comes in sizes four to 20. I love this because it kind of looks like a, it's going to be a bikini, but it's actually a swimsuit. Um, it's got this really great, again, another tie detail at the front, but it's attached. Well, you can see you can, it's attached to the bottoms. Um, the cut on this is slightly higher legged, which is obviously very on trend at the moment. Um, the back of it is really lovely. It's got this kind of cut out panel in the back. It's a really nice shape. It has a sort of 80s feel to it, this, to me. Um, that sort of wider strap, it's, yeah. And I think actually it would give you quite good support um, because of, you know, if you look at the side panels, there's actually, you know, a really good chunk of fabric there. You're not going to be sort of flying out of them. Um, so yeah, this is a really lovely, lovely pattern. Anyone who hasn't um, made swimwear before, it's actually not as hard as you think and I would really recommend giving it a go. It's basically essentially sewing with jersey. So if you've sewn some jersey things before, you will be completely fine making swimwear. The only thing is finding the right fabric and you will need um, a lining, a sort of gauze lining fabric, which you 
if you look inside your swimwear, you'll see that most of them have that in. Um, and there are places that you can buy this online. So next up, um, we have got the Ipswich swimsuit from Cashmere. This one I really wanted to include because I think it is, it's got bus cup options, which most of the other patterns don't have. Excuse me. Um, it's a really fantastic pattern. Again, it's a, it's a two piece or a one piece. But the thing that Kashmir, obviously she, many of you will know, she specialises in curvy sewing. So there's a lot more going on in, the, in terms of making this because there's lots of, quite a lot of structure to ensure that you're going to get a good fit and you're going to feel nice and secure. So let's start with the swimsuit. Um, I'll show you the line drawing so you get a picture of it. Um, it's got princess seams, which again is really useful for... Um, you know, fitting, getting the fit right. Um, it actually looks like it's kind of quite plain at the front, but if you look at the inside, it's basically got a full bra cut on the inside. I will say in terms of construction, this one is more advanced, but this one is definitely gonna keep you nice and secure. So it's got, yeah, a proper bra going on the inside. At the back, you can see it's got a proper clasp as well, which means that you can kind of really kind of strap yourself in. It's again on the on the um, cut, it's not super high legged, it's quite kind of vintage feel. I think it's just a really nice swimsuit. I think it will suit most people. I love the bus cup options. I mean, that really is a, a kind of a bit of a game changer in terms of um, so in your own swimwear, I think if you've got a bus cup inside. And I like that it doesn't look like a bra from the outside. I think that's quite clever. Um, and Cashmere always does great stuff. And the swimsuit is lovely. It's, it's got those princess seams again. It's got this inbuilt waistband, which I think is really nice. There's lots of options again with this, of color blocking it because of all the pieces. You could do it and make it feel quite vintagey, or you could have it like, you can see here where it's all in one fab, in kind of a plain fabric. But yeah, I love it. I think it's a really lovely pattern and I think loads of people have really enjoyed making it. The next pattern we have got is the Valeria swimsuit from Serena Patterns. This comes in sizes 6 to 18. I included this one because I know a lot of people um, are very conscious and as we should be about protecting our body from the sun. And although I appreciate swimmer fabric, it doesn't stop all the sun rays going through. This is quite a nice option if you wanted something that kind of covers you up. So it's basically quite a simple swimming pattern shape but it's got sleeves and that's the real thing that I liked about it and especially also if you're going to if you're going away somewhere and you wanted to do water sports and stuff this is a really nice option to have a long sleeve so when you fall in you don't you're not kind of slapping your hands on the water um it's yeah it's quite it's actually going to be again this one is really quite a simple construction so I think if you um looking for something on the more simple side this is a really nice option so the front of the it's got a kind of low, a kind of low scooped neck. Um, it's quite, I would say, in terms of the cut of the neck leg, leg line, it's actually quite standard. It's not sort of kind of a bit like Goldilocks and the three pairs. It's right in the middle. Um, it's it's kind of not too high and not too kind of low. Um, the back, it's got a low back on it. Um, which again, if any, if you've got larger bust, this might be this might be an issue. Um, but a nice low back on it. So yeah, it's a really simple one. I think you could make this up in an afternoon quite easily. But I think it's a lovely shape, and I thought the long sleeves were a good option. So the next pattern we've got is the violet swimsuit from Ly Lila Jane Patterns. I love this. I think it's really interesting and the thing I love about it is that you get loads of really good options with it. So the, the swimsuit has a kind of mock wrap at the front. There are three variations with this so you can either choose the one that's photographed here with the ruffle at the front, you can have it without the ruffle so it's completely plain or you can have it with this quite cool um, plain kind of option at the front but it has these cut out panels at the side which I think are really nice and really flattering on loads of people and also quite a nice new skill to learn because you can finish off all the binding the, the hole quite nicely um, but 
but because this pattern is kind of mix and match you could have the cutouts at the sides and the ruffles if you wanted it's completely up to you obviously it's your sewing project um sizing did i say that i don't think i did this comes in sizes 6 to 30 and it has cup sizes a to e so again it's another one with cup sizes which is really fantastic especially well whatever size bust you are it means that you can actually make something that you know is going to you're not going to have to do too many adjustments around there which is tricky in swimwear so really this is a really fantastic option um it comes in pdf pattern and there's copy shop available if you can't bother to stick them all together next up we've got the Ithaca swimsuit from Etoff Maclears I'm sorry I'm sure I've said that incorrectly that's really bad isn't it um apologies I'm my GCSE French is pretty appalling um I loved this pattern it comes in sizes 4 to 20 um I will show you a picture so you can kind of get a feel for it there are two variations with it so it's a classic swimsuit it's got this little keyhole opening underneath the bust and a kind of ruched um almost like a little bow at the front it feels quite vintage which i really like in swimwear there is also an option to add a ruffle to the straps so if you really want to go full on um the thing i liked about it particularly is that it has a bit like the cashmere one it's got a proper clasp at the back so you, you really feel kind of nice and secure around around the boob area and then it's got this lovely cut low cut option kind of deep cut at the back it's really beautiful shape i think it's an interesting one in terms of the cut of the leg it's kind of again a sort of middly one it's not it's not too high or not too low so it's sort of fairly standard i would say in terms of the sort of things that you see on the high street um it's yeah it's a really lovely one and i think you'd it's such a classic shape that you definitely kind of wear it over and over again so i loved that one Next up, we've got the Camille swimsuit from Serena Patterns. This comes in sizes 6 to 18. Um, I put this one in because I just thought it was kind of 80s fabulous. Um, it's really amazing and I think look would look great on loads of people. So it's got this enormous deep cut V that comes pretty much all the way down to your belly button. It's got gathering round, um, it's got gathering kind of where it attaches to the waist, which means you're gonna have an, like enough excess for you to get your boobs in. Ties up around the back. Um, there's also an option that you can add a sort of belt tie, which is in the picture, so you can kind of see. Um, I'll show you both types. I just thought it was really beautiful, and it's such a cool shape, and it's the sort of thing that never goes out of style. Also, having all that gathering around the waist means it's going to be quite good if you are on the bigger bust side and the panels are really wide so you're not going to get too much sort of side boob but I thought this was just such a cool cool pattern that I couldn't I couldn't resist couldn't resist um next up we've got the sea bright swimmer from Friday pattern company again this is another pattern with long sleeves and I thought it was really good to include it comes in sizes 6 to 24 it's beautiful and you can obviously make this without sleeves um, I really like the one without sleeves. I'll just show you a picture of it so you can get an idea. I really like this really kind of big um, band around the sort of, um, that goes over your shoulder. It's quite unusual. I haven't really seen a shape like this. Um, the pattern, if I show you the line drawings, you can see is quite simple. So it's got gathering in, it's kind of very low cut, almost comes down, not quite as far as the last one, but kind of, you know, high waist gathering at the shoulder, gathering at the waist. Um, obviously with this one you can see from the line drawing there's an option to add a long sleeve as well if you wanted to cover up a bit more. Um, the cut of the pant on this or the kind of, it's, it's quite, um, it's that vintage sort of kind of low cut, not, yeah, low cut I would say. So it is, it's quite an interesting one. I haven't really seen any shapes like this. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a it's a really kind of interesting one and I again don't think it'd be too tricky to make so I absolutely love this It's definitely one of my favorites um the other and the last one we've got is the Wells Bay Bikini from Half Moon Atelier this comes in sizes 6 to 20 I wanted to put this in because I thought it had a really nice shape on the on the bust for this pattern um it's got a sort of little sweetheart neckline it ties at the back um the the pant on it has got uh it's got it's cut in kind of three so it's almost got like um 
little side panels on the pants which means you can really like spend a bit of time and get the fit right um, it's it's just a lovely again it's a kind of a classic shape I think it's quite simple in terms of the look of it so it kind of makes it classic and it means it's something that you'll probably wear more and more like over and over again so this was a real firm favorite of mine I really liked it um, and you can see at the back in terms of the cut of the leg it's fairly standard um, and this one is feels like a real classic you know the classic swimsuit that you'd wear over and over again so I thought that one was worth including and I said that was my last one but I forgot one which is just classic I'm very forgetful these days um, I wanted to put in the Sophie swimsuit from Closet Core Patterns this comes um, in sizes um, 4 to 24 um, this one is really great I wanted to put this one in because it's another one which I think will be really useful it's got a balcony cup bra um, it, so it'll be really supportive especially if you are on the larger end of the bust so there are two variants there's a um, a swimsuit and a bikini they've got princess seams going down um, a proper cup so almost like a bra cup so again this is going to be slightly trickier in terms of the construction I know that Closet Core if you haven't done this before has done a um, there's an online class and I think a sew along for this pattern so you can go and have a look and see how you make it if you are interested in doing it um, again with with it being princess seams there's lots of options for you to do color blocking and um, the, the pants on this are quite high waisted they come up kind of above your belly button so they have a real vintage feel and I personally really like that look where you're showing a little bit of tummy but not kind of loads so this is a really another lovely option and loads of people have made this and loved it so it's definitely worth checking out right I hope that was useful and I hope you enjoyed it we'll be back soon with another video and have a lovely weekend